Hello everybody, this video is just a quick update on our last video Reddit Wall Street Bets on Silver. So many things have happened on the last 24 hours that I feel an obligation to update you guys accordingly. If you have not watched the first video, you should watch to better understand why the price of silver is about to explode. The video only takes 5 minutes and the link is right now on top of your screen. First thing, I would like to thank you all for the comments received, as a lot of the new information comes from interacting with your feedback. To make a long story short, uh, the silver market is not that big. Consequently, I don't think that the physical silver market will be able to handle the massive inflow of investment that is coming in our direction. Online retails, retailers like Upmax are now sold out on silver. It happened over the weekend. You can still find some silver coins and bars on JM Bullion or SD Bullion, but over the weekend, many silver products are gone. I'm considering the fact that very soon we'll have uh, another shortage of physical silver, just like happened uh, last spring. With that in mind, if you can get physical silver, perfect. At the end of the day, we are all silver stackers. Well, at least I am. It's also a very good time for those who already have a little bit of silver, but as I mentioned, I don't think the physical market will be able to handle it. With a shortage of silver coins and bars that is about to come, we can still drive the silver prices up by investing in the right silver stocks. I have mentioned on the last video about SLV shares, but let me tell you something. JP Morgan is the custodian of SLV physical silver. Unfortunately, by the time I was recording the last video, I was unaware of this fact. Consequently, buying SLV shares could be feeding the enemy, and JP Morgan is really the enemy right now. Many of you also know that JP Morgan was fined in $1 billion for manipulating the metals market. Uh, JP Morgan has done that for over a decade and probably made $10 billion with that. So just paying $1 billion or 10% in fine is still a pretty good deal. Other investment that I have mentioned uh, on the last video was first Majestic Silver Mines. When the price of metals goes up, the miners should go up twice as more. But be very careful here, because it also goes down twice as more if the metal prices falls. Again, I do not recommend anybody to go uh, crazy, do anything crazy like getting a loan to invest. I'm not a financial advisor, but I know the best investment that you can make is having no debts. Nowadays, we have technology and we can discuss investment strategy in social media groups. But we don't, we don't know what banksters are discussing on the other side. Just play this game carefully, as the banks might let the price of silver shoot higher just to pull the carpet and make huge gains on us. Nevertheless, I do believe that this is our moment to make a reverse wealth transfer and move the money from the banks into our pockets. Last few days, I was trading with Wall Street bets, buying shares of GameStop. I had some gains, nothing spectacular, but I learned a little how to play this market. The silver market will be very volatile, with few strong pullbacks. The pullbacks normally will happen when the banks sell their shares. They will try to sell, to sell at the highest possible price. But when the banks uh, sell the shares, the price will go down. And this is the right time for us to invest and kick the prices back up. If the prices stay down, the banks will buy the shares again and pocket the difference. We are definitely living through a historical times and we must take this opportunity and turn the profits in our favor. Again, don't do anything crazy. Protect your wealth and stay safe. Take care.